Fly runway heading, maintain 2000, runway 17, clear for takeoff. 17, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading, maintain 2000, 773 in November, thank you. Okay, friends, today we're doing a more local trip. So I filed for 4,000 feet. I departed Sugarland Regional, my home airport, and flew to Wharton Regional Airport. I was in the air for about 25 minutes, and I had a pretty good airspeed. I did shoot an instrument approach, so enjoy, and let's go. 33 in November, contact you, departure, good day. Over to departure, talk to you soon, 3 in November. Good morning, Houston departure, Turkey 773 in November, checking in, climbing through 1,000. 738 November, Houston departure, radar contact, maintain uh, 2000. Maintain 2000, 38 November. Number 38 November, are you just going to Wharton? Did you want an approach there? Um, as of right now, I'm planning the visual, but I may ask you for an approach after I get the weather over there for 7738 November. 738 November, Roger. You can climb maintain 4000 and uh, turn right direct to Wharton. Climb maintain 4000, right turn direct to Wharton, 7738 November. Thanks. Okay, I know it's a little hard to see, but on my GPS, I'm just going to my flight plan. I'm selecting my airport identifier, Alpha Romeo Mike, and hitting direct two. I am using autopilot, so we're going to start that turn to the right. My air vents are open, so my hair is literally flying everywhere. I came in very jumbled, but I think you were trying to tell me there's traffic at my 11 o'clock. Is that correct for 3 8 November? Number uh, 3 November, that's permanent. The traffic 11 o'clock and one mile northbound. Uh, altitude indicates 1,600. Should be no factor. Roger, I'll be on a lookout anyway. I am about to go into clouds for 7738 November, though. Just for a second, it looks like. <sighs> okay, everything looks really good. At 3,000, got about 1,000 feet left to go. I'm feeling confident. There's going to be some clouds here and there. May shoot an instrument approach, and if I have to, we'll kind of just play that by ear. Pretty quick flight, only 21 minutes. I was actually going to try to fly to, my first stop was going to be Wichita Falls here in Texas because I wanted to go walk around the waterfall, but it was only going to be 50 degrees there, and I don't want to deal with any more cold weather. So then I decided I was going to fly to Dallas. And then I saw that there is a whole bunch of thunderstorms that are supposed to be coming in later on, and I don't want to get stuck there. So I'm going somewhere local. I brought a chair, I brought a picnic, basically a picnic, <laughs> and I'm just going to sit and hang out by myself. Might do a live um, with a few people and just kind of catch up, hang out. Uh, off of, uh, but sure line, off of services. I kind of wanted to get out of the house a little bit today, so that's what we're doing. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Currently direct to Wharton Regional at 3,500 feet, closing in on 4,000. Indicated airspeed is 109, ground speed is 100, so not too shabby. Because this is such a quick flight, though, Delta November Alpha? I am going to get my frequency set up and ready to go. European what? Let's see here. Hey, we'll be going to Kilo Delta November Alpha. Weather has changed slash updated. Was it supposed to be marginal VFR until about 3 o'clock? It is 11 o'clock now, and that has changed. So I probably will shoot an instrument approach coming in. But it'll be an easy one. I'm not super concerned. Some of those winds. Wharton Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One six zero five Zulu weather. Wind one five zero at eight visibility. One zero two thousand two hundred scattered two thousand eight hundred scattered temperature two four Celsius two point two. Three. Altimeter two nine eight five. Everything is looking great, so I am going to request the RNAV one four instrument approach. Well, minimums are going to be four hundred feet, so I should be able to make that. Worst case, I will go missed as necessary. So that looks good too. Initial approach fix. Ahisu. Ahisu. I'm going to totally butcher this. And approach Turkey 7738 in November. Just got the weather over at Wharton Regional. Like to request the RNAV 14 approach uh, starting at Ahisu if possible. Okay, 3 November, sir. Just to hand off uh, Tri Center on 128.6 with your request. 128.6, no problem. Have a good day. 3 8 November. Good morning, approach Turkey 773 in November. Checking in 4000. Turkey 773 in November, Eastern Center, Wharton Altimeter 2986, advising of the weather. 
Niner 86, I do have the weather. I'd like to request the RNAV 14 approach into Wharton. This will be a full stop for 38 November, please. 773 in November, Roger. The only uh, note I have to issue is that 5G, the 5G notums are in effect for Wharton. Roger, no problem at all. Thank you for 38 November. All right. So I'm looking for traffic outside. I'm Fairway looking for traffic on my GPS. I've got my approach plane up. I have briefed it. I'm just waiting for him to tell me where to go. So I'm just going to keep flying direct to the airport until he gives me some more information. Three one zero greater than ten. Got a medical four zero five contact Houston Center one three point seven five. On the last video, I never included when I took my sunglasses off, so this time I will do my best so that it's not a jump scare for y'all. <laughs> but basically, this is going to be a quick, easy flight. So far, I'm having a blast. I'm right above the clouds, so as they rise, probably will get a tiny bit of instrument time in today. But more than anything, it was just about getting into the sky and kind of just spending some time by myself. And getting a brand new video to you. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. If you are, maybe go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to respond. So Mr. Proach climbed to 2000 direct to Go-Go's and holds. That'll be super simple. Uh, two zero. Looks like right minimums are going to be 400, so I'll probably bring that up to 500 just so I have a little bit of margin just in case. Not going to be doing the holding pattern, I don't think. Well, 15, 50, Putting my sunglasses back on, don't be surprised. Okay. 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 It's supposed to be like 85 degrees today, so I dressed super, super summery, and that's another reason why I didn't want to go to Wichita Falls. I didn't want to have to wear jeans or like leggings or anything. It's time for it to be summertime here in Texas. Delta 1992, Center Rider. So, hopefully, uh, the weather will start listening, <laughs> start right, behaving. Okay, so if I'm being honest, this part of the flight's actually really boring to me because I prefer to be in the clouds rather than above them when I can be, obviously. So I sped this up, I did a quick little time lapse, but we are getting ready to do some actual cloud surfing. So here we go. 122.7 will be my Unicom, frequency, whatever you want to call it. Got that set up here. Still looking. November 773, November, clear direct KV. Clear direct to KV for 773, November. Here we go. We're going to activate this. Nav mode is activated. And probably going to hit a few of these clouds because they are rising really, really quickly, which is awesome. Oh, I just missed it. Maybe I won't hit three them. 3 cross KV out above 3,000. Clear out at the ward. Cross KV out or above 3,000. Clear direct into ward for 773. November. Thank you. KV out or above 3,000. So I can actually start my descent. We are about so five minutes away. So I don't need to descend super quickly. Just verifying. Cavi to Bep Poo. Decive, Eva P, and runway 14. Good. Just do a nice gradual descent. I'm just going to descend about 200 feet or so per minute. And I'll increase that if it gets too bumpy and just get myself out of these real quick. No big deal. Got 1473 quick. Harlan's in climb, maintain level 280. The cars is 280, All right. Approach mode is activated. Slowly starting that descent. Going to go into those clouds. Eyes inside. Maybe Nine not. to eight kilo turn, 10 <laughs> degrees left. Airlines is 153, kind of keeps the center, 13375. 3375, you see, sir, unless it's 153, yes, Shuttle 6289, the center maintain for level 210. 210, shuttle 6289. Okay, looks like I might be actually in here for a little bit. So let's turn the car heat on for a second. Go ahead. Make sure everything is looking good. Temperature is 56 degrees outside. So that's 4133, Doesn't look like that's dropping though, so that's good. Good day, we'll let it stand out of one, climbing 11,000 for 16,000. Good day, we'll let it stand out of one, climbing 11,000 for 16,000. 
Oh, I say 91, you take things coming to 16? That is correct, uh, well, I say 91. 1, 1,200 for 1, 6,000. All right. Well, I say 91, climb 18, follow 340. I'm going to 340, well, I say 91. Time to switch tanks. Airspeed's looking good, all gauges are in the green, feeling comfortable. Electric fuel pump on, fuel pressure starting out in the green, rolling. Fuel selector here to my left tank. Fuel pressure is still in the green. Fuel pump off. And fuel pressure stays in the green. Right, 2187 to the center, Roger. Number 02, Bravo, Yeah, these clouds are lower than they looked. All right. Always love getting some IMC time in. Just switched my tank, so that's looking good. Go back to maps here. All gauges are still in the green. RPMs are looking good. There's we got a little fast. I'll pull a little bit more back. Try to stay at that rough air or maneuvering speed, which is 129 miles per hour. I am 200 feet away from my selected altitude of 3,000. Center 179, climbing 230. And with 40 seconds left on the clock, I'm back Bobby pretty Center, darn well. 400, 0, 0, 0, 0, Bravo. Air shuttle 6289, got a Keystone approach 1917. 1917, air shuttle 6289. Houston, good morning, Southwest 108, 8,000, Bravo, and I'm climbing to 16,000, direct scuba. That's 180, Center, Roger. 928 Kilo Cross Beller at 6, contact Houston Approach 123.8. Uh, All right, going to start that turn now. Car repeat back off. I tried something new. There's the approach plate. There's my airplane. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense or if you don't like it. Eyes are back inside, going back into these clouds, baby. Here we go. That's 108, climb maintain, uh, flight level uh, 240. 240, Southwest 108. Or 0 Sierra Bravo, contact Houston Center, 126.42. Temperature is up to 63. Well. November, Fort Zero. You ready for copy of phone number? You can cancel. Affirmative for 7738, November. Alright, 281-230. That was 281-230. For 7738, November. Over to CTAF frequency. Runway 14, Dorset County traffic. Perfect. That looks good. Going to hit a few more clouds, but not too shabby. And here we go, turning towards that final approach fix. Really easy approach once again. It's always so funny because I already know there's going to be people in the comments that are like, ooh, you got a phone number. It's actually pretty normal when you come and land at an untowered airport that that's how you cancel your flight plan if you don't cancel when you are in the air. And because I am on an instrument approach, it's just easier to call them after I land. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wharton Regional Traffic, Cherokee 773, November, is on the instrument approach. RNAV 14, headed to Desiv at 3000 for uh, Wharton Regional. Almost said 7738 November again. <laughs> All right, going back into the cloud for a minute. Here we go. This is a little cloud, though, so it's not that bad. And just like that, it's almost time to land. So if you've enjoyed this video and the flight so far, then please do hit subscribe so you never miss one. Odds are that's the last cloud I'm going to be in until I fly home. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2. All right, time to configure to land. So make sure it's full rich, fuel pump and landing lighter on, rotating beacon on, pitot heat and carb heat are off. Primer is in and locked. RPMs to about 1,800 or however needed slow so that I can put in my flaps. Get into that wide arc. Beautiful. First notch, 10 degrees. A little bit more power back in. Watching that airspeed. Perfect. 
Horton Regional Airport, Cherokee 773, November, about three nautical miles to the northwest, inbound landing, runway 14, full stop, Horton Regional. This is one of the crazy things about the weather here in Texas is it says it's going to do one thing and it does something completely different. The last few days we've had gray, sky, gray skies excuse me, and clouds and rain and drizzle and grossness. And now it's a beautiful day, so you never know what you're going to get when you wake up here. <laughs> All right, close enough. Going visual, second notch flaps, runway in sight. Got to slow myself down. Definitely a little bit more bumpy over here, but that's okay. 74 degrees, oh, how pretty. A little bit of a crosswind coming from my right. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for joining me on today's flight. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and tell me what you want to see next, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!